what are the causes of bleeding in early pregnancy let us discuss all about this in this video hi this is dr abhinav vijay kumar i'm a doctor and a post pregnancy coach you would be so happy to see those two beautiful red lines on your pregnancy card test but after few days when you see that mild spotting or bleeding per vagina then you would start panicking immediately because you would be afraid whether it would lead to abortion but not all the spotting or bleeding is going to be abortion let us discuss why this happens during the early pregnancy first and foremost let us discuss something physiological which means which is normal in pregnancy what are the conditions where bleeding becomes normal during the early weeks of pregnancy number 1 implantation bleeding implantation bleeding is nothing but the penetration of the fertilized egg that is the sperm and egg combines together and it is fertilized successfully now this gets penetrated deep into the walls of the uterus when this happens there might be mild spotting or bleeding because there is deep penetration only when the fertilized ovum is deeply penetrated it can start developing and start growing as week advances So how does implantation bleeding look? Usually it is very mild, maybe like a spotting few drops or sometimes it can be a continuous bleed for one day or two days. Mostly it would be light pinkish or brownish discharge. Sometimes it can be fresh bleed as well. But the quantity is going to be minimal as compared to that of the periods bleeding. You can also have mild discomfort in your lower abdomen. So if there is mild spotting or bleeding and it stops within a day, then mostly it would be implantation bleeding but if the bleeding continues over 2 or 3 days and if the bleeding increases in quantity then you need to visit your doctor in order to rule out any other causes other than implantation bleeding mostly we are worried about abortion next what other pregnancy causes can lead to bleeding in early weeks of pregnancy tubal pregnancy or molar pregnancy sometimes choriocarcinoma of the uterus or ovary blighted ovum all these can also result in bleeding during the early weeks of pregnancy so now apart from pregnancy what other reasons are we worried about when it comes to bleeding number 1 is abortion so there are different types of abortion it could be either missed abortion threatened abortion or incomplete abortion mainly bleeding happens in threatened abortion and incomplete abortions in both these scenarios a check ultrasound scan becomes mandatory because in threatened abortion there would be mild bleeding but the cervical os would be closed or partially open but the fetus would be completely visible inside in incomplete abortion we could see that partially the fetus is expelled out or it is already collapsing inside along with cervical os open in both these conditions we will be following up on how much bleeding happens and we also do a check ultrasound scan to see if it's just the threatened abortion where the baby is completely safe inside or if it's incomplete abortion so if it is incomplete abortion we need to follow up with either medical methods of abortion to completely evacuate the fetus so what are the tests that would be advised if there is bleeding in early pregnancy first is a beta scg level so we need to see if the beta scg level is on par with that of the pregnancy beta scg levels we will also repeat the beta scg levels after 48 hours to see if there is doubling up of the beta scg usually in normal pregnancies there would be doubling up of beta scg after 48 hours but in tumor pregnancy there won't be doubling so by this we would know that there is something wrong with the fetus next comes the ultrasound scan which becomes mandatory We need to see if the gestational sac is within the endometrium of the uterus or if it is somewhere in the tubal areas where we would see either the gestational sac or like a collection of fluid inside the tube or around the tube. An ultrasound scan can also rule out if there is molar pregnancy or choriocarcinoma of the uterus or ovaries. What other blood tests would be advised? Hemoglobin, thyroid profile, hormonal levels including progesterone levels can also be advised by your gynecologist. Before we conclude this video, we should also discuss about the various other conditions where bleeding can happen which is not related to pregnancy or ectopic or something like that one is cervical or vaginal polyp in both these conditions there can be bleeding sometimes which is not related to pregnancy number 2 pre existing cervical erosions this is something like a wound in the mouth of the uterus which is already present because of which sometimes bleeding can happen both these conditions can be seen on a speculum examination by your gynecologist so any time you have a bleeding during the early weeks of pregnancy after confirming your pregnancy by either urine pregnancy test or by a ultrasound scan do visit your gynecologist to make sure if it is just the implantation bleeding or cervical polyps or erosions or any other conditions related to abortion do share it with another pregnant woman who is in her early weeks of pregnancy such that she gets aware about this too 
If you found this video informative, do like this video and also comment below your doubts about bleeding in early weeks of pregnancy. I will try to revert at the earliest. And also subscribe to my channel and press on that notification bell icon to receive regular updates on upcoming videos in my channel. If you wish to join the positive pregnancy community where we have 500 plus happy mothers, do check out the tag mango link provided in the description. You can also reach out to me through Instagram. My Instagram handle is mommy with bigger dreams. Until I meet you in the next video, stay happy, stay mommified.